Welcome back to PCTV Reports. We're hanging out in the beautiful Emory County checking out the third annual Joe's Valley Bouldering Festival. Emory County is traditionally known for its cowboy culture and western heritage, but to the climbing community, Emory County is known for Joe's Valley, a world-renowned climbing destination with awesome boulders and scenic views. I've been climbing all these years just because um, I, it's the thing that I'm most, still most curious and most passionate about in my life. And yeah, it's just like, there's an infinite number of possibilities that, um, infinite number of directions where you could take rock climbing. You know, you can climb big walls, you can climb boulders, you can climb everything in between and um, go to the ends of the earth to do it. And it's just like a cool way to experience the world. So, and it's a cool way to, um, you know, like trying super challenging stuff that you can't think you can do at first that requires like a lot of work. It's a cool way to just like get to know yourself better and um, break through your perceived limitations. So that's like, I think that's a, a big part of why I still do it. The festival is essentially a, a marrying of what the two communities do best around the love of outdoors, cowboy games and the climber games. I think that's the easiest way to think about the festival, right? We have Climbers go to this B0 rodeo <laughs> and have them look like fools in front of cowboys where they have a really good time and get their kids to do all of these games with us. Um, and then the next day we do all of these climber games where locals can come out and participate uh, or watch the climbers do these feats of climbing strength. We just try and mix those community events and get the locals to come out and the climbers to come out and everybody have a good time together. The general setup is that we have local artisan clinics, so we, got, we try to get local craftsmen to show us their craft. Those things usually happen between Friday and Saturday. We really like to kick it off on Friday with the baking beef jerky because that one is a highlight piece. Right after that, we um, do the legends and lore, which speaks to the history of the local community. Um, as well as the bouldering here, because it actually has a long history. Um, then we go right into the cowboy games. Every night we have a bonfire. Next day we do some climbing clinics, some free meetups to get the community together. Um, we get all of our sponsors to come and show off their goods. Uh, we do some other little free clinics. And then we have our climber games. After the climber games, we do a massive raffle and we have live music. And that kind of wraps it up. Sunday, we do a cleanup. So I'm doing a clinic today um, here in Joe's Valley and we're up at the top of right, right Fork, super pretty area, um, kind of basking in the sun right now and um, yeah trying these trying these awesome sandy little cliff band boulders up here but they're really they're really cool. It's awesome that like the, the climbers and the locals are interacting in like a super friendly, super supportive way at, at the, you know, at the festival. And I think it just like, yeah, brings everyone together, like brings all the climbers together, brings all the locals together. Locals and climbers are like interacting, having having a good time together. So it's just like, yeah, building like, building the relationship and um, just showing the locals that like, you know, we care about, about this area and um, that we're super stoked to use it like with, with respect and stuff, so. So that was a quick little look at the Joe's Valley Bouldering Festival. If you guys want more information, check out their Instagram page, at Joe's Valley, or check them out online, www.joesvalleyfest.com. Stay tuned for more PCTV reports after this.